What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can get access to and try out the new Google Search AI. It's different to their chatbot type AI that they have, Google Bard. And of course, it's different to what Bing has. It's a little bit weird with how it's working and it'll only work with some Google searches, not all of them. And of course, it is pretty much region locked. So you will need to be in the US or somewhere similar in order to access this. If we head across to labs.google.com slash search slash experiments, you'll find this down below. You'll see these options here. We have code tips, add to sheets and SGE generative AI in search. This is what I'll be talking about here. Supercharge your search to find out what you're looking for in faster, easier ways. Get AI powered overviews to quickly get the gist of a topic and easily follow up. Let AI do the heavy lifting for you. It's essentially an AI that should help you with Google searches. If we enable this here and click agree, then try an example. It'll show us of what we're looking for. It's this brand new section at the very top whenever you Google something, generative AI telling you an answer that it thinks you're looking for, as well as the sources that it found this information on and collected it from, as well as follow-up questions that you can ask. This is somewhat useful if you're someone who Googles for questions and continues building on your questions. It's something similar to the suggested questions down here, such as people also ask, in that you get these suggestions here as well. And of course, it tries to summarize things usually in a bullet point format. It's good and sometimes bad. It's not as good as something like ChatGPT, obviously, or even the Bing AI, but this is more supposed to work with the future of what Google search will be. It'll essentially be something along these lines. Now, people have seen this coming for quite a while, but one of the most controversial sources is, one of the most controversial issues is, well, if they're using AI to summarize things, you're not gonna be clicking on different websites, reading articles, and seeing ads on these different websites. In other words, Google will be taking money away from these other independent sources. So things are a little bit weird on those grounds as to how money gets around where. But this feature is here and it's probably going to be put into the full version of Google at some stage. So you may see this popping up. But for now, it's only experimental and Google does have a history of ending a lot of experiments. Anyways, with a Google search such as this, you get a nice summary. And of course, we can build on it by clicking the suggested question down here, which takes us to more of this AI centric screen here, where it's mostly just chatting with the AI pretty much and getting answers back in return, as well as some general Google results just underneath it. So of course, we can keep building on the questions here and we can ask a follow up question at the very bottom here as well. If we scroll down, we'll find some Google results and using more search results here, it'll give us even more. There's not different pages, so this isn't a full Google search feature. For now, it's just a little AI chat, which is relatively interesting. If I Google something like how do I set up an Nginx server, it'll give me a prompt that we can generate an answer with Google AI. And upon clicking this, we'll get an answer generated by AI. It'll take some of the solutions and things like that from different articles and pump them in here. This may or may not be useful for you. If we ask a follow up question, once again, it'll take us across to this AI chat area where it's more just conversing with the AI and getting some related responses just below. It's relatively interesting and could be helpful if you're trying to do things that mostly require bullet points. For anything that can't be summed up in a few bullet points, this isn't really going to help you. That being said, you may find more useful answers with the Bing AI. So for example, I'll copy the search and ask Bing instead on the chat section. Sorry for the flashbang. It seems we need Microsoft Edge for this chat. Okay, let's ask the same question here. And closing all these pop-ups, we'll see a slower response but it should be a little bit more detailed. This is what I mean by results from Bing still seem a little bit better. And of course, it should be pulling from the internet. It'll be somewhat similar to using GPT-4 with web access, searching the internet, etc. So for me personally, chatting with Bing is giving me much better results, as you can see just by how verbose these are compared to these Google responses over here. Anyways, you get the point. You can now enable it and it should pop up while you're Google searching for different things. So it may be useful. It may not be useful, but because it pops up at the top of whatever you search, usually it's no extra steps as compared to going to ChatGPT or 
the Bing chat, for example, it's right here in your search. That being said, for now, this is an experiment and it could be ended by Google at any stage. They currently have a planned end date of December 2023. So there's a few months to try this and send feedback, most importantly. But after that, or even before that, it could go live to full normal Google searches. And now you know what you're looking at when you see the new icon. Otherwise, it'll just fade off into obscurity. It's a pretty cool thing. AI is expanding and taking over in a lot of ways. And this is just yet another way that we're seeing AI possibly improve our daily lives. The code tip section here is somewhat similar in that we can get generative AI responses such as this here, which is pretty useful. Obviously, if I search setting up an Nginx server again, maybe it'll give me something more code related. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Seems to be more snippets that you'd copy from Stack Overflow usually. But essentially, that's where Google AI is currently with generative AI in search. Pretty useful. Anyways, you'll find links to both of these in the description down below. They're both on the same page. You can enable them and assuming you're in the correct country, you can use them. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this video informative and useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.